morning, everybody. Happy Stock Lock Sunday. Washington State Picker here at my new uh, picking station, and I uh, I tried picking Challenge Lock four different times yesterday here at my new my new place, my new table, and uh, couldn't get anywhere. So I figured I'd try a Stock Lock Sunday on a I believe it's a uh, U.S. lock. I think it's a Schlage Keyway. I am not sure. Most of them are that I bought. No, well, this is actually a separate Keyway. This is an SC1, yeah. Unless it's an SC4. Let's see here. No, it's actually a... U.S. Lock Keyway. Bidding's easy. I don't usually do well with oh, extra stock locks. I'm going to give her a shot. Keyworks, as far as I know. They're kind of glitchy. Whoever put these together, they didn't do very well. <clears throat> these are used, old, grody. Thinking about taking a bunch home and buffing them on my buffing wheel while I make a knife. I just got commissioned a guy on Facebook to make his son's two knives sometime before spring, so that ought to be fun. I'm going to use one of my homebrew picks. I don't know which one. I'm going with the wooden handle because it's got the steepest foot. Oh, here's one. It's got a steep hook on it. I may not be able to use a steep hook with this keyway. And I don't know where I'm going to end up having my camera because I, I block. I can't get up close enough to this table and I block the view of the camera a lot. So bear with me, we'll get there. One day at a time. I don't even know if I should be doing heavy tension, light tension, because this thing is so gummy. Got a nice click out of three. flat enough I could probably zip it or rake it, but I'm going to try SPP in it first. I don't have a lot of luck with stock locks SPP. You wouldn't believe some of the pins I found in these old locks I buy off of eBay. Some of them look like they were drop forged by a two-year-old in Indonesia. Uh, Pretty bad. They're so out around. I try to polish them or make something out of them, and they wobble. It's kind of funny. I'm not familiar with U.S. lock, but I know some of the U.S. lock keys that I have are actually Schlage keyways. Some aren't. Okay, I overset something. I'm gonna zip just a little bit. There we go. Yeah, one more. Didn't feel anything drop, but this thing's so gummy. Just going to barely lift the pins. They're all low cut, so they all have to be set. And I'm going to start cutting keys that way because a lot of my keys, I like to do high, low, high, low. But what happens is, like, three of the keys may not even, three of the pins may not even really need to be set. So they're overset trap, sure, but if somebody's careful, you study the key, they can get around it. Or you can just zip and set those. <clears throat> and then go to the rest of them that are binding. I start doing lower key cuts, even if it's kind of flattish. I'm not getting anywhere. Like I said, I don't get sensation out of these. I'm going to tension the other way, maybe. This pick feels really good. I like it, so just... Packaged up one for BLP60 and one for Alabelle. I hope they like them. A little thicker than I like, but my stock is 27 thousandths, and I didn't want to machine grind them down because take too much of a risk of not of taking too much off. So I hand sand them in a book like BLP60 taught me. Man, that dude, I, I love you, uh, Angelo. You taught me so much. You're always there to assist, and now you're playing chess with me online. I like that. Anybody else play chess? You're on Facebook. Hit me up, man. You know my name, Jeff McRae. Hit me up. 
That was my addiction before Locksport. In fact, I got to show y'all something. I'm not getting anywhere with that anyway. The table for my TV, I made that uh, when I got into chess. Living here in my apartment, I made it for a chess table. I was going to actually start a chess club and do all that crap. And, and I realized I really wasn't that good. So I'm going to cheat. I'm going to try this. I've never played with... I know these are for automobile or wafer locks, but I'm going to try to break it with that. I've never played with it on a normal lock. Never played with it on an auto lock either. I don't have an old enough car for that. I'm just going to see you guys. I'm tired of recording videos and not getting opens. It may be too strong for this lock. If I can get it in the back, nah, that's no good. No good at all. Try my little, that's not my Medusa. It's thick like my Medusa. There's my Medusa. I bet that spring-loaded one, that pick probably overset most of these. These pins, for being such a gummy and patinaed lock, they don't feel as gummy as like an old master lock would. Wow, this thing's putting up a friggin' fight. I hate stock locks. I have a padlock up there I can't get for the life of me. It's a uh, master lock. It's a puck lock. Or the round ones, you know. There, I got her. Finally. Okay. Alright, I'm calling that good. I know I cheated. I apologize, but I wanted to get an open at my new station. Get it on film. Get this show rolling. Had that guy over yesterday. He's uh, the husband of my girlfriend's friend. and uh, He came over. I have to move the camera though. No. He came over and uh, had him make his own challenge lock. Showed him how. Set him up. Gave him some uh, good picks. He finally had his picks that he, his wife bought him. And, and I realized they were little picks like, like, like my lapel pin set here. This whole set is like this. And he's actually picking locks with it. I mean, oh my goodness. What a natural. So I gave him a couple of my old sparrows and pra uh, Praxis kit, uh, Praxis picks, and a couple of good. I haven't used this one in a while. Bobby Keys made for me. Uh, had a couple of good, uh, got a couple of good, uh, whatchamacallits. Um, Peterson's gave him some plastic lock holders for his vice. He just got a pan of vice for Christmas. Gave him some stock locks. He took his lock home that he made. Hopefully he can pick it. Said he tried last night and didn't have any luck and said keep trying. He made it kind of hard. He made a couple really nice spools, mainly serrated because they were easier. He did a really good job. Natural. Used to work on uh, submersibles. He used to be a, a military diver. And then he got into the oil rig. That thing's too big. What the heck? Got into the oil rig. This one work? I think this one might be too big too. Shoot! What am I doing here? Where's I'm gonna have to use my old. Here we go. I meant to have all my. This is my YouTube picking station, so I wanted to have all my black and yellow here. And I, anyway, you know me, doofus extraordinaire. Bring everything but what I wanted over here. Kind of impromptu. I went and bought the table at Walmart before I. Uh, something's hung up in there. Before he came over, 
and get a quick setup. Yeah, they all had to be picked. I like that idea. I'm going to do that with a lot of uh, threading and serrations. They're all the same pin, though. That kind of sucks. Uh oh. Did I bring tweezers? No. Dang it. So we're working on a lock last night. Anyway, I gotta learn how to be more prepared. I'm gonna have to get a whole new setup for this thing. So I'm ready. I think these are all the same pins anyway. All standard, of course. Might be a little different. I've got my micrometer. I need to. I went through last night and took a bunch of old uh, pins that I had in a little container and used my mic and mic'd them out. Okay, that's stuck now. It's so gummed up. Use these little copper springs. You know, all of you that know me know I like a little heftier spring. Although when it comes to picking a lock, I have a harder time with the weaker springs than I do the stronger ones. Oops, less feel. Now, I showed the guy when I take a lock apart to make a challenge lock, put the plug follower through, I stick it down, I yank it out, dump everything out because I don't use much of what they provide, unless they have long drivers. This thing's really, I'm gonna have to, damn, I'm gonna have to soak these or something, these old locks. They're bad. If anybody can tell me what to soak them in, I know, um, Mansella uses vinegar. Vinegar's good, let me know. I think I dropped them both, I did. Springs are coming out nice, so that's always a good thing. And of course, there's nothing done up there but a lot of gunk. Can you see that? I got a, I have to get a buffing rod of some sort. Start reaming these out. It's probably why his lock, when he made it, we got the key stuck in it. We, then we couldn't get the key in it once I tapped it in with a hammer. Then we, anyway, couldn't get it back out. Um, not only were his pins to blame, but I think a lot of the gunk in that lock, because it was one of these old ones. Anyway, guys, get my little initial on it. You can see the patina. Thanks for watching. Have a great Sunday and have an even better week. Try to be productive. Stay out of the manager's office. That's never any fun. Y'all take care.